Hey guys, I'm Shwaib. Let's talk about what's in my tech bag. But before diving into the bag, let's talk about the backpack itself. This is the North Face Recon backpack and it has plenty of compartments for all my tech and more. It's easy to carry, great for multi-purpose like going to a cafe or using it as your main school or work backpack. And if you're feeling adventurous, it's also great for the mountains, like if you were to go on a hike. There are two side pockets which are perfect for water bottles. There's a dedicated laptop compartment which I'm a big fan of. The main compartment is spacious and the front smaller compartments are great for smaller techs like cables charging bricks, pens, and other smaller tech accessories that you may have. Starting off with the laptop compartment, I have my M1 MacBook Pro, and this is a must-have for me, and it's great for working on my scripts or editing my next video on the go. So like I'll go to a cafe, pull out my laptop, and I'll start working. I've had this laptop for three plus years now, and honestly, I have no complaints. So let me know if you guys want like a full review of the laptop after having it for three plus years. I would love to make that, but this is definitely a must have for me and I always have this in my tech bag for sure. Moving on, speaking of the MacBook Pro, there are various accessories that I have that also go in my tech bag for the MacBook Pro. And one of the first things is the Apple USB Type-C, VGA USB Type-A multi-port adapter. And I mainly use this guy for USB Type-A flash drives to connect to my MacBook. And also the fact that it has USB Type-C, I can also have the adapter in and also charge it in case my other USB Type-C ports are not available on my MacBook at the time. But I always tend to have another port accessible. There's like three USB Type-C ports, so that's not a problem. So I mainly use this adapter for USB Type-A and that's usually to connect my flash drives like I mentioned. In addition to this adapter, I also have an anchor charger brick for the MacBook and it's a 64 watts charging brick and it's so much more more compact and like a smaller form factor compared to the actual brick that comes with the laptop itself. So I prefer this smaller anchor brick over the original MacBook brick because it's just so much smaller, a lot more compact and I can just, you know, it's a lot more portable as well. And in addition to that, I have the USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable for using that brick and for charging the laptop. Moving on to an accessory that's a must have in my tech bag and that is the power bank. You know, just in case any of my devices run out of juice, I have this 20,000 mAh power bank and it's perfect for charging my smartphone, AirPods, tablet, laptop. It does the job and I have no complaints of it. It's been a good companion for my other tech devices and it's very portable, super compact to design and I can just put it in my backpack and go about my day. And a lot of the times it will last me like a week or, or, or even a month, depending on how often often I use it. Personally, for me, I use it in like emergency situations. Let's say, you know, I'm traveling or I'm visiting a new city. I don't have access to an outlet right away. So the power bank comes very handy and it's super portable and compact. And so I personally really like this power bank and it's definitely also another must have and it's always in my tech bag for sure. Moving on, I have three different headphones in my tech bag. I carry the first gen AirPods and these just work. They're not the best for audio, but they just work. They do the job. I can listen to my music comfortably. They're compact, easy to carry. So I always carry the AirPods. But in addition to that, I also carry a wired headphones. These are the Apple EarPods headphones with lightning connector. And these are great for situations where my AirPods are dead and I need another lightweight headphones that just work. And I tend to use this with my iPhone for listening to music for the most part or podcasts. And it's a lightning port, so that works great with the iPhone 12. And lastly, I have the over-the-year Bose headphone non-noise canceling version. And I like how these can do both. They can be wireless and wired. You can take off the wire when you don't need it and you could connect it when you do. And I keep these in my backpack for just better audio quality. And these make a perfect headphone for editing my videos. Also, they are nice to wear during colder weather. Keeps your ears warm. But for the most part, I use these in current times for editing my videos, especially the audio. I can edit the audio much better using these than say the AirPods or the wired Apple headphones. Up next, we have a tablet. And this is the Samsung Tab S4 tablet. And I used to use this guy a lot in college. Like I would use this every day back in college, especially for taking notes. 
I would just open up Microsoft's OneNote and take all my class notes, also do my homework there. And it was nice. I can just convert it to a PDF, upload it to Canva or Blackboard and go about my day. And I used to use this guy all the time, like I've already mentioned. This was a great device for school. But however, now I mainly use it for light work. To be honest, it's still a great device and I will be making a full video on this coming up. But nowadays I mainly use it for light work, like watching YouTube videos or taking quick notes or sketching an idea for a thumbnail, stuff like that. And it's pretty portable and I do like it. And I've always been a fan of Samsung tablets. So I do like this and especially with Android, which I'm also a, a big fan of as well. I can do everything I want and even more. So Samsung Tab S4 is my tablet at the moment. I do wanna upgrade to the latest ones, but I don't really see a reason to because I mainly use it for videos and like light work here and there. But the Samsung Tab S4 is definitely in my tech bag for sure. Moving on, one of the most important thing that I have to have in my tech bag, and it is the four terabyte T7 SSD. And this is a very nice portable device. I have done a full review of this guy, so definitely check that out. But this is where I keep all my footage, all my audio, video, scripts, everything for my videos, and also a lot of my personal files as well. This is a perfect companion for your laptop, and it has a lot of space, four terabyte. But definitely check out the review for sure. So this is a definitely must have in my tag bag and I always carry this guy around. Just go to a cafe, connect it to my laptop and go about doing my work without having to worry about, you know, where all my files are because my laptop cannot handle all that storage. So this is definitely a must have for me. Moreover, in the smaller compartments of the backpack, this is where I keep the USB type C's, the lightning cables, the adapters. So all the cables, you know, all the cables I need for the MacBook, all the cables I may need to charge the AirPods or my smartphones. So that's where all the cables go. And even some other non-cables accessories as well. Like I'll, I like to keep a pen as well. So that's where all my smaller tech components go. Furthermore, is something I keep in my tech bag that's not necessarily tech, it's a sweater. And this is more for environments where it's just cold, like they have the AC up high, especially now because it's super hot outside, people tend to keep the AC up high in cafes, even at work. So I always keep a hoodie. So this is a champion hoodie in my backpack in those cases where I'm feeling cold. So I just, you know, put my hoodie on and go about editing my next video. Moving on, I also keep the iPhone 12 Pro in my tech bag as well. That's used to be my main phone previously although now I have moved to the S24 Ultra I still do use the iPhone 12 Pro mainly for the camera or from time to time for listening to music or podcasts and also just testing iOS 18 beta so I can do that as well in the meantime but I still use it and I still keep it in my bag one thing that's nice with having an iPhone and a MacBook is that you can use your iPhone camera a lot of the times to film on the Mac as well using QuickTime player and that's a nice convenient feature and I've actually used it in this video to film showing the backpack and showing me trying on the hoodie. That's all done using the iPhone 12 Pro and connecting the camera through QuickTime player on the MacBook. And that's still why I keep the iPhone 12 Pro around and it's been great. So that's definitely another item that's in my tech bag for sure. And lastly, I have a water bottle and this is the Hydro Flask 32 ounce with the wide mouth flex straw cap. And I recently got this and honestly, I really like it. It's just the right amount of size for the right amount of water I need or can consume from time to time. I really like the handle in this guy. And also I was surprised just how nicely it fit into the side pocket of my backpack. Felt like a big bottle. So I was surprised that it fit perfectly into the side pockets of my backpack. So that was definitely nice. So I always carry this in my tech bag for sure. You know, you gotta stay hydrated, my friends. And this is my go-to for carrying my water. So I definitely like this guy as well. And it's always been with me in my backpack. Well, that is it guys. I hope you liked what's in my tech bag. If you're interested in any of the products I've mentioned, I have the links in the video descriptions below. So make sure to take a look and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell icon. As always, have a superb day and thanks for watching.